All right, we're going to put together a uh, summer workout program here that players can run on their own. They can do it in a school parking lot. They can do it in their basement. They can do it out on their parking, uh, the driveway in front of their house. It's pretty simple. It works on some endurance with running, some upper body work through push-ups, core work through sit-ups, and a lot of leg work. And all you need to do this is a pair of sneakers and a piece of chalk. All right, as with any workout program, you want to make sure that you stretch good before you get started. So we're going to do a couple of quick stretches here. We're going to go through them fast. And when you do them yourself, you're going to hold them a little longer, do them a little longer. But this is just an idea of some of the stretches that you'll do before you get started. So we'll start with some quad pulls. And you want to hold your leg and get a good stretch. Do both legs. And then you want to stretch yourself out, feet together, touch your toes, try to hold it for a little bit. And then you want to spread your legs out, lean out to the side, stretch the insides of your legs. You want to go both sides. And again, all these stretches, you want to do them for 15, 20 seconds each. Touch the ground. Stretching out your legs, the back of your legs down on the ground, one leg up, reach out, pull your toes, keep your knee down, keep your knee down, do the other leg, try to reach out and grab that toe, butterfly, two legs together, get a good pull. upper body strength, we're going to do push-ups. We're going to do two types of push-ups. The first one will be just the basic push-up. Make sure you watch your form. We're going to do them here. Okay, you want to make sure you keep your back straight, your arms shoulder length apart, down and up. Down and up. You don't want to have that arch too much in your back. It's all down and up, shoulder length apart. All right, the next set of push-ups are incline push-ups. You want to find the place where, in a parking lot, maybe you can use the curb. At home, maybe you can get a cinder block, something to raise your feet up six to eight inches. Here we have a curb, so we're going to put our toes up on the curb, and we're going to do push-ups in an incline position. Down and up. This puts extra strain on your shoulders, keeps your toes from helping you. Okay. Alright, that's Alright, the next section is core work. And with that we're going to do three exercises. Sit-ups, bicycles, and then planks. And players here will show you how they're done. Okay. First we're going to do sit-ups. Really focus on your breathing when you get up. Take okay. your elbows to your knees. All right, next, we're going to do a bicycle, same thing, legs not touching this time though. Left elbow to right knee, right elbow to left knee, breathe every time you come up. All right, and the last thing we're going to do is a plank. This is a modified push-up, elbows on the ground right underneath you, back straight. Just hold tight. Feel your core contract. And don't hold your breath. All right. Okay, those three. All right, the next one is to work on lower leg strength, and it's called the five dot agility drill. You need a piece of chalk, and what you're going to do is put your leg shoulder length apart, draw a circle at the top of this toe, circle there. Move down here, go two steps, same thing, draw a circle, and then one right in the middle, and that'll give you the five dots. And this drill is done four separate drills. Each one is done four times. So we'll show you the first one. Matt will show you the first one. It's just a straight 
forward two leg hop, backward two leg hop. And you want to go through this four times. Alright, so you'll drum forward and back, that's one set, so it's four cycles through that. The next one is one leg on your right leg. So you start on one of the dots and you're going to go to the side, to the middle, up, and then backwards. And you want to try to stay as balanced as you can. And again, you're going to go through four times from the starting position back. He just did twice, but we'll do, you just have to do four. Then the third set is left leg. And again, you want to stay, try to stay on top of your foot, stay balanced. And again, you do four of those. And then the last one is a forward hop with a spin and then forward hop again. Okay, so you do four of each. That'll give you 16 reps through. So it's four cycles through that one leg, your right leg, your left leg, two legs forward, two legs with a spin and back. Go. All right, the next one is a hop drill. You just draw a plus sign on the ground. And this drill is two legs hopping through each quadrant, then one leg, your right leg, hopping through each quadrant, and then the other is left leg hopping through each quadrant. And the way you do it is you do five cycles around. So you'll start here, and you'll go one, two, three, four. That's one cycle. One, two, three, four, two cycles. You do five cycles of each set. Here's how they go. First is two legs. Go. You don't want to go too fast, you just want to go, you want to make sure you stay on top of your legs and you're not bouncing all over the place. Now you're doing your left leg, again you're going to go through it five times, the next is your right leg. And each of those is five cycles through and you're going to do four sets. Alright, the next one is the octagon hop. It's an eight-sided box, piece of chalk. The easiest way to draw it is line on top, line on the bottom, line on each side, and then just connect the line. And basically it looks like a stop sign. And the way this drill works is you start in the middle and you hop out the front, back into the middle. Out the first side, back into the middle, all the way around and you do eight cycles around the octagon, and that's one set. Go. Go around twice. It's not about how fast you can do it, it's about how well you keep your form and bounce in and out of the box. All right, the next one is a squat thrust. Basically, you start standing up, squat down, kick your legs back, bring them back in, and jump straight up in the air. You want to do 10 of these, four sets. Sean will show us. Two, three, four, five, okay? That's a squat thrust. As I said, you want to do 10 of those, four sets. Okay. All right, the next one are called prisoner squats. And basically, you're just going to try to keep your back straight, legs shoulder length apart, arms out, and you're going to go down as far as you can without having your legs go too far over your toes. And you want to hold these. You don't want to just go down and up. You want to be slow going down, slow going up. And on the last one, you want to try to hold it for 10 seconds. So it's down and up, down and up. And as you're doing these, again, you want to go slow. And then on the last one, this will be your last one, just hold that position. 
and then up. And you want to do four sets of ten. So it's up and down ten times, hold the last one, and you do four sets of those.